Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the October 28th, Abington, uh, 2020 Abington Finance Committee meeting. Uh, we continue to meet on Zoom. Uh, we are continuing to meet uh, both in preparation for the now postponed uh, special town meeting in the fall, uh, but also to address a couple of other needs. We have a relatively uh, moderate agenda in front of us tonight, which I am sharing right now. Uh, as you can see, if everyone can see the agenda, uh, we have a reserve fund transfer request. Uh, we have a potential review of special town meeting warrant articles, and then we have our liaison assignments, and then our regular business of liaison reports, correspondence, and review of minutes. Uh, so let's get right into it so we don't take up too much of uh, Jack Kane's time, as Jack is uh, kind enough to join us tonight. Uh, we also have Sue Moquin with us. So if Sue or Jack wants to lead off with what the reserve fund request is. Ladies first. And Sue, you're on mute. I'm gonna leave it up to Jack since he knows what's going on with what he needs. Okay, we, we ran into a problem recently with our, um, our fuel pumps at the DPW yard, which actually is the fuel depot for the whole town. Um, probably somewhere around 125, 30 vehicles. Um, and we can no longer do the fuel bills slash make keys. Um, it's an eight year old system. So it's in my opinion, fairly new, but when it was installed, it. Uh, has an issue with possibly being outdated at the initial purchase, uh, which we're finding out now. Um, so when we updated our, our computer system in my office to Microsoft 10, it was no longer compatible with the gas boy that we have. So what we've been doing with the IT uh, director is um, backdating and doing a re uh, I'm not sure of the word, uh, almost like a reboot every time to tell the system that it's, you know, six months old. And uh, that only works so many times. So now we're at a point where we can no longer uh, make new keys for new vehicles or when old keys uh, no longer work, we now have to take them out of different vehicles and share. And now it's a matter of not being able to document um, so I get some prices, one from the people that we originally uh, contracted with and a new vendor whom we used many, many years ago. And we're looking somewhere between fourteen dollars and $18,000. I'm trying to get a third price now. Um, and obviously, I, I prefer to go with the lower vendor. Um, it's, it's actually just under $15,000 to $18,000. So um, we've been... Uh, having a little bit of an issue since but it, it's been it's been working i'd like to get it taken care of sooner rather than later because uh, we usually put about a thousand gallons of fuel a week uh, for unleaded and about a thousand gallons for diesel so we get a fuel drop roughly every month and a half and each time we have to build the individual departments it's getting harder and harder to recoup our money so <clears throat> that's where we're at does anyone have questions for Jack or for Sue? It's not something that, that can be updated or anything like that, Jack. We've been trying and we've had the past company come in and working with Wayne Norling, the IT director, we've been able to um, uh, fool the system. But at some point, it's it's ridiculous amount of time. The company can't always get there when Wayne's available. Uh, it's... It's, it shouldn't be happening anyhow and everything. There's no support anymore for that system. So, and, and we can't change it to the new system without spending the money because now we have to change the hardware out of the pumps. So can I ask um, the, the new system, is it, um, is it also an older one? No, no, is that okay? So this one's not going to be obsolete in the same way that one will be. Well, I, I can't say that, but Everything right. we have to support it is up to date, so there's no reason that we should be getting uh, outdated. When, when the system was put in um, eight years ago, 
the highway department wasn't uh, really on the cusp of IT. So mm -hmm. uh, everything was kind of pieced together, but that was a new system to adapt to our old system. We didn't sure. realize that it was, it, it wasn't outdated. It was at the end of its tenure. Got it. And is the new system, uh, so it, it sounds like it's hardware and software that's being replaced, well, yeah. right? We were trying to get away with just software, but there was licensing issues and um, working with the IT and the comp two different companies. Uh, there's, there's no option. And the, the actual gas boy is the vendor for our pumps. Um, they're not all that helpful either. And to change the whole um, system out would be, you know, close to $75,000. And there's nothing wrong with the rest of the system, so. Do we trust that original vendor? That um, well, that's why software? I'm kind of pitting three vendors against each other to find out. Okay. You know, we, we've used them several times. They've been very good and it's, there's nothing they can do about it either. They've done everything they can and they're the ones that are actually helping us uh, get to this point now. Got it. Thanks. And it's, it is eight years, so it's not like they installed it and it went bad immediately. And if we didn't update, we even tried going back to the old Microsoft and the license is gone. So, Eight years is a pretty good lifespan for technology these days. I was going to say, <laughs> if you think about if you bought a computer eight years ago, would you still be using it? Right. Yeah, true. Yeah, so my my personal home computer is a little bit older than that, and it's very very problematic at times. So it's not really the computer either. It's uh, yeah, we we got a system that we actually <laughs> low bid. So low bid means you're not getting latest and greatest. You're buying what you could afford, and um, and this time too, we're actually going with the low bid. It's the same system through two different vendors. So. Uh, we're doing some of the work in-house, which is going to save money. And just to clarify, in my mind, the system, it, it, it measures how much fuel is left in the, in the tank and then bills people as they pull it out. It's, um, it's when you go to the gas station, you put your credit card in. Well, we have keys for every vehicle that we use. And that key is assigned to the vehicle and the department so that uh, one department isn't paying, like vehicle maintenance doesn't pay all the fuel bills. Individual departments pay their bill. Okay. And it's recorded through this Vita Root slash Gas Boy system. And uh, the fuel management system, uh, it keeps track of water in the tanks. It's a, it's a, there's a lot to it. We've had it for a number of years. So it's, we're, we're pretty much just getting a new system that does the same thing. And we wouldn't be changing it if it wasn't for this not being able to communicate. There's nothing wrong with the system other than we can't talk to it. Which is a big problem. Yeah. <laughs> so Sue, is this a, an emergency? Like what, how, where would this budget come from? Is it just like a thing we're going to vote for in, in the meeting? So I can I can address that, Justin. Okay. As, as a reserve fund request, this is something that we're viewing as something outside the scope of the budget that we passed in June as a town for this fiscal year that yep. is unexpected, that is necessary before the next budget is passed. Okay, thanks. Does the new system come with a warranty? It wouldn't be an eight-year warranty. Oh, okay. Sorry, Jack, we couldn't hear you on, I couldn't hear you on that one. I don't know if anyone else could. It comes with a warranty, but it wouldn't be eight years. Yeah. So it wouldn't be eight years, but it does have, it does come with a warranty. Depend on who, which vendor you go with, right? To, to well, both of them are very. We've dealt with them for many years. Um, they're twenty-four hours a day uh, because we fuel twenty-four hours a day. So 
Um, we just updated the system so that now we're um, on a generator, which we weren't on for many years. Um, we'd have to go in and uh, we have a truck that we keep fuel, we keep cans. So in an emergency, now we've updated. There's, there's been a lot of updates and um, this is like the, the end of it. So it's, it's kind of, it doesn't sound like a big deal, but it's a real problem as far as we would run out of money probably three months into the year if we weren't able to, to build the different departments and, and record. We don't know how much is coming in or how much is going out. This system actually also tells us when we're getting low on fuel. So right now there's only two of us in the shop, which would mean we'd have to stick the tanks every day and we haven't been able to do that because uh, the system used to do it for us, but now because we can't communicate with it, we have to physically do it. About what did you think the, the amount of a, a warranty would be? Um, ballpark, I, ballpark. I wouldn't know, that wasn't a question. Okay. Sue, is that something that you'd know? Barbara, can you say that again? I was wondering that um, getting the new system, um, anything about a warranty, if you knew anything about um, what the the amount of warranty or the usually, usually there's a there's a one to five year warranty depending on the software. But uh, obviously, we would look into that before we signed on with a with a uh, vendor. Right. And, and th there's a chance I may have missed something, but th this is just for the software. Is that correct? Some the hardware pumps. to I think we might have lost Jack. Yeah, he, he mentioned there was some hardware on the pumps that they had to replace as well. Greg. Yep. Yeah, we can't just get software because it wouldn't talk to the old hardware. So they, in order to get it, they have to get the package. Uh, but the, 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 the reason that I was asking, again, if he comes back on and I, and I have to shut my thing off for a second, um, is, is that are the tanks all good? Is everything else all good? He said yes, that was all awesome. fine. Yeah. Yep, the only reason they were replacing it is because of the inability to communicate. Yep, there he is again. But yeah. Uh, he said the red, the whole the whole system is good. We just can't communicate with it. Yeah. What did before, we do, What did we do before we had the technology? I guess we didn't even have the system. We we used. Uh, I, I don't even think you've seen them in the northeast. There's the old style pumps. Oh, the the crank ones. I'm sorry. What was that like the crank ones? Not that far back, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Jack, I, I think they don't understand that we put money into uh, a capital th um, item for upgrading the pumps in this in the uh, annual town meeting. But once we upgraded the pumps, the pumps didn't communicate with the current software that we have. Correct. And some of the updates on the pumps was a um, the uh, fire suppression system. Um, that, that I think was 20,000 bucks. That's strictly the fire suppression system. It didn't meet code. So as things change, we, we have no control over it. And the, the uh, fuel island station per se is uh, uh, tested and uh, inspected yearly. And each time they come in, obviously they find something wrong. Well, we've been able to take care of stuff in-house and under budget for many years. Now it's becoming a bigger problem. So the fire suppression, what was put in, uh, I wanna say 20 years ago, doesn't meet code anymore. So we've had to do some things to change that out. Anyone have other questions? Sue, can you remind me what we voted into the, the amount that we voted into the reserve fund? I know we changed it a whole bunch of times and I could look back at my notes, but don't have them in front of me. The original amount from for the gas pumps? 
No, no, the reserve fund. Uh, we voted in um, 180, 189,000. That, that sounds about right. Yes. And I think you've made one vote out of it for uh, I don't remember what it was for, but we did vote something out of it just recently or, you know, in, in the yep. July, uh, August. I was going to say, I think in July we did vote something. Yes. Trying to look back through. Um, oh, the parking lot. At the senior center. Actually, we were talking uh -huh. about it, but we didn't vote it yet because we I haven't gotten up voting because we didn't have the the amounts yet. It was the, the town hall library parking lot. Correct. Oh. So we have not actually voted anything out. So we still have the full amount in the reserve fund. Anyone uh, with motion to approve the reserve fund transfer request for the DPW for the um, upgrading of the what are we what are they calling pump, it? Pump suffer. Let's call it a yeah a fuel master. It's for the uh, it's called fuel master. So okay, so for the fuel master. Second that, Barbara. Have a motion and a uh, motion from Barbara, a second from Justin. Uh, any further uh, discussion? Without any, all those in favor of approving the motion to for the reserve fund transfer? All those opposed, abstaining, uh, it is unanimous. Jack, thank you very much for your time. We very much appreciate it. Uh, we definitely hope that this uh, new software works out really well for you. Thank and you. I keep, you keep up week. the good. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I appreciate Thanks, it. Jack. Bye bye. All right. Moving along, the next question I have for people is: Are there any? articles for the special town meeting warrant that you feel we should uh, revisit or reconsider in any way. We were all set to go for town meeting last week. Uh, when it turned out town meeting could not go last week because of quorum issues. Uh, town meeting has been pushed out to November. Uh, I believe it's November 19th, is that correct? Or 17th? <laughs> 17. Confusing it because I have something big going on at work on November 19th. So, uh, But November 17th, which is a Tuesday night. So for anybody who is listening, please uh, come and attend special town meeting on November 17th, Tuesday night, seven o'clock at the middle high school auditorium. Uh, do we have anyone that wants, thinks that there is an article that we should reconsider or at least discuss again? See Justin shaking his head. See blank no. stares from everybody else, and Greg's screen is black. And Greg is no longer dark screen, and he's waving. But I don't think there's anyone that has anything they, that they need to or want to reopen. So we will move on to liaison assignments. I am going to switch the. Uh, going to switch the screen that I am sharing. I will switch to, actually, I will switch to last year's liaisons so that you can see who was liaising with which departments last year. 
and I will call up on my screen. This year's liaison assignments. Apologize for the timing of this. Correcting one of the email addresses on there because I got typed in wrong. So I'll start by saying that um, I did get um, the messages that I got from the members who are not here were that um, Katie would like to not be the fire department liaison this year. Other than that, anything is fine. Uh, Joe was fine with the departments that he is currently liaising, but is also open to any other department. Um, and uh, for Dr. Tyler, uh, he would like the fire department and the Board of Health. Did you say Katie didn't want to be the fire, but she's not actually the fire Correct. She just wanted to. She just wanted. Oh, she to wanted make to make sure she didn't. Uh, she is not the fire department liaison. Got it. Could so? Could we theoretically keep them all the same? Uh, we theoretically could. It is. It is incredibly rare, uh, and it is. This is the first time in my tenure on the on the committee where the committee has stayed the same from one year to the next, where nobody. Yeah step down off of it. Barbara, I don't know, you've been on longer than I have. I don't know how often that actually happens. It happens yeah. previously, that would happen a while back, 10 years ago, nine, eight years ago. Seems that we have a little more turnover now. I definitely want to see the Vogue Tech thing. Do we, yeah, so I was going to say, do we have, um, do we have specific, do we have people who have very strong feelings for a specific, um, specific department that they would like to liaise with? I would just say for anyone that's um, newer, the opportunity to um, kind of be the liaison for at least one time around for each department is um, can be beneficial. Yeah. Really didn't have much to liaise on with. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the same. There wasn't a, a heavy lift on my side, a, a little bit with the school board. Um, so I, I, I'd be okay to switch out from school if someone wants to swap with me. No so I have Greg re specifically requesting South Shore Votech. Is anybody uh, against that? All right, I will put Greg in. Is there anyone that would like to second Greg on the South Shore Votech? I'll second Greg on the South Shore Votech. All right, and now. The other requests I had were Dr. Tyler requesting fire and board of health. Fire last year was Joe and Greg. Board of health was Barbara and Justin. Anyone with objections to Sean taking those two departments as the lead? What were what those again? Fire and Board of Health. 
And I think that I, I think that those fit very specifically into his areas of expertise. So sounds good to me. I think they're perfect. Yeah. Does anyone want to be the board of health second? I can be still if you want. Does that, does that help with when people don't do the right thing and then like a hundred people get COVID, you get to do anything special or? You get to go yell at them, Greg. <laughs> Set it up. <laughs> and if we can ret retroactive that for a week, let me know. <laughs> uh, would anyone like to be the second on the fire department? I'll, I'll do that unless somebody else wants. Not that I have any particular expertise. Let me get you there. Um, all right. So now, unless anyone has specific um, requests, I'm just going to go down the list and I'm going to switch my sharing from last year's to this year's because there are some differences on there. And the right window, there we go, share. All right, can everyone see the now mostly blank document? Yep. Yep. As you can see at the top, we have our new town manager listed on this one. Last year's had our old town manager. Uh, we have a new veterans agent, which I did not know until I saw a chat about it just now. Um, Adam Gunn is our new veterans agent. I hope I have the email correct, but I have his name in there correctly. Matt, um, can I take Abington Cam? Justin would like to take Abington Cam. Yep. Anyone have objections to that? Anyone want to second him on there? I could second. All right. Uh, the accountant, assessor, and treasurer collector. Last year it was Joe who has said that he would take any that he took be he had before. Anyone object to Joe going here? No. Nope. Anyone want to be the backup? It was back Russ. Up. Was it? sorry, who said that? Russ. All right. Uh, the building inspector. Oh, why not? Chris, we'll take that. I'll back up Chris on that one. Now you're dealing with Marshall. Unless anyone objects. Uh, Council on Aging. Last year, the Council on Aging was Chris and Barbara. Maybe Katie might like to do Council on Aging. I think that will be a good one. Katie. Anyone want to back her up on that? I'll back her up on it. All right. DPW, last year was Greg, and I have specifically requested Greg take on this one. Uh, I don't know if anyone wants to buck me on that one. Feel free. No, I'll second that, and I'll, I'll, I'll be back up if uh, Greg wants, but yeah, this is definitely a Greg. <laughs> Any other uh, opinions there without moving on? All right, and I'm just so you know, I have multiple multiple windows up, so I can't actually see if people are like nodding or anything. I, I was looking. just going to say, is it bad if I start working there? <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be good for the town if you start working there, Greg. <laughs> I think there'd be a lot of people in town that don't like me. That's okay. <laughs> it's not a popularity contest. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm trying to readjust my screen so that I can see things better and actually see you guys at the same time. And it and, and for, for definitely for the new, I mean, I know Joe's not here, but for the yeah. newer people, if you're not getting down there and seeing this stuff, I would have never understood what John Stone meant by the big hole that's in the building. Again, I don't even know what I'm talking about, but they get to go down the thing that flooded that they had to you mm -hmm. know, swim through poop to get, uh, to get it unflooded. Um, how, how would you ever notice? How would, you, you just can't even fathom it uh, no. until you go down to see it. And and I'm sure not everything's like that. But I think that you should go. Everybody should go down and see these people, 
even with COVID, I mean, masks supposedly work. So, um, you know, uh, just go, go see this stuff because it's part of the town. It's all the stuff that we're, we're, we're voting on to pay for stuff or to replace stuff. It would be great if we can soon get back to uh, tours Used yes, to take tours of each um, department. The tours are always very, very informative, very helpful. So, um, with that, uh, golf last year it was Chris and Joe. Do we want to keep I'll the same or should we put them up? Barbara? Let me back up. IT would be next up. I'll take IT again. There must some. Someone else would like it. Unless anyone objects, I'll, I'll back Russ up again on that. Uh, library. Last year was Katie with me backing her up. Um, I actually wouldn't mind taking the lead on library. Oh, really? uh, I'll let Katie back, back me up if nobody else wants to jump in. I think that's a great idea, Matt. <laughs> Uh, so also uh, one of the newer spots for liaisons, I think last year was the first time we had it on here, uh, planning board. Last year it was Justin and Sean. I'd just as soon take that one. Just FYI, I didn't hear from the planning board at all during this process. So there were, there's zero lift there. At least there was last year. Yeah. Doesn't sound like they planned on calling. <laughs> well they're all they're all volunteer right so we and we yes. don't have we didn't approve the we d we did not have we, we ended up not having the money for a town planner so. right okay so there's probably not a whole lot to talk about i guess so is there somebody that wants to back oh well if if you've seen the warrant there's plenty for the planning board to talk about they, true, they definitely true. have they definitely have a lot but yeah doesn't always come into uh the direct I I, purview of the finance yeah, committee. So. I just meant finance wise, yeah. 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 Uh, does anybody want to back up Chris on the planning board? Does this, does this have to do with, uh, just, sorry, well, answer that question first, sorry. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, it's okay. I'm pretty sure that Greg was saying that he wanted to back up Chris on the planning board. <laughs> That's what I heard. Well, if there is no buddy there, <laughs> there is now. Greg, right, Greg, what were you going to say? <laughs> After volunteering to be the the backup on the planning board, what were you going to say? Sean Riley had put a couple amendments into specific things last year on wording in our charter for things to be built. Does every again? I'm not great with words. Does everybody remember what I'm maybe trying to say? I think vaguely yes um is that part of the planning board or no uh things like that yes are are, are typically like depending on the, the the scope or the purview of them the, those are the kind of things that the planning board will will often take up i just think the town needs to look a little bit more carefully on things that are changing like that last year i didn't really have a clue i'm not saying uh, sean was doing anything bad just there are certain things you can put into these charters or whatever that can change the look of this town pretty quick um with how many specifics can how many people can live in a place at one particular uh, address or things like that that I, again i don't remember all the wording that was changed but um and again i don't know if all the residents understand it either just i've asked people and they have no idea and they were at the meeting last year to vote on this stuff um so I think maybe going forward, a better understanding of maybe when we're changing these little things that in essence don't really sound like a lot that actually do change uh, the zoning for things and you know other stuff like that. I think uh, it might be better if people have a better understanding of it. I think Greg too, you might've just been shy of getting on the board uh, right after uh, the town meeting where there had been a lot of debate between the planning board and um, Matt, zoning? Zoning, I think. Planning and zoning. 
um, where there was a lot of discussion on, on town floor about certain changes and. Um, it's a lot of re redistricting and rezoning that was gone over. And there was some contention to some of it. Yeah, definitely. Lots of times, some of it is just, um, I think most recently, a lot of things is, is updating wording to meet um, situations that we're currently, you know, that's how we're doing it anyways. We're just updating the wording, but um, I yeah, definitely think great. there's. Even, even the zoning stuff, like, uh, again, I don't know, I don't know where it, I'm assuming my next comment's going to fall under the Board of Selectmen, but um, the rate that the businesses pay, I mean, we, we have to start looking at all these things um, every, every year, I think, uh, just for the health of the, for the health of the town. So you look at it once, you leave it for a long time. Um, I don't know, I don't know how sustainable that is. Um, doesn't, for instance, the, this particular thing that we were talking, I think we talked about it a little bit last year that the rate is calculated differently or it's not done. So there's two ways of doing it. Does everybody know what I'm talking about? You're talking yeah. about the tax rate, splitting the tax splitting, rate. Splitting between, the tax rate between is it residential, every year? commercial, and industrial. Yeah. It's something that I, I believe, and and maybe Sue could correct me if I'm wrong, or Barbara, I believe that that would be something that would have to be done at town meeting. I don't think that that's something that could be done. Well, it's something that's discussed, but um, there's recommendations on the percentage. <laughs> Um, it's certainly something that you could definitely discuss with the planning board, zoning board. Um, yep. There's, um, it's, it's actually the assessors, right, Sue? That's correct. It's done at the uh, classification hearing and the assessor presents what the tax rate is that's equal for everybody or the split tax rate. And they decide at that point, um, but we don't have what we, we don't have enough businesses in town to offset the businesses with a tax rate that's a little bit higher than, than residents. Um, if we did that, then the residents, from my understanding is that the residents would, you know, the, the residential taxpayers would not uh, benefit from it. And that when you switch, when you split the tax rate, then you have, you have the different tax rate for some place like Bemis, um, as well as the different tax rate for some place like Target. Correct. So and they're, they're, it's they're, a they're both percentage gonna... that's recommended. Um, a percentage of certain type of business amount of business in town that's recommended before you would consider um, splitting the tax rate if you wanted to actually see an impact on you know um, residential the residents. Right, and, and so that, for, somebody, right. for somebody like Bemis, it would hurt. For somebody like Lowe's or Target, it might not affect them as much. But for your smaller businesses, which w Abington has more smaller businesses, it would be a yeah. huge impact where we might see businesses leave town because of the, the tax impl implication. I, and I completely agree with all of it. I guess my bigger question is, have we ever studied like uh, or really dug into our businesses clawing at the chance to get into Abington? I think that so that would be like a good conversation to go to um, an assessor's meeting. That's what I'm asking. What so this whole BS that would be I'm talking about. I don't understand if that was the planning board or not. So sorry to no. hide the whole thing, but that's more of what I'm asking. Where's that conversation at? So that, that would be the conversation right now would be happening with the assessor and it would probably be something that had we approved a town planner, the town planner would be have very um, involved with, but it, it would be the assessor that that would conversation would be happening at right now. Okay. Oh, sorry, it took a lot longer than I should have. That's okay. Good discussion. Good information for people to have. You good, Greg? Yes. All right. Police. Uh, last year, police was Russ and Justin. Does anybody want the police liaison gig this year? And looking uh, just 
was doing a quick look through. We've got a hand, we've got a handful of people with two departments right now, um, and a handful of people with one department so far. So, okay. well, is that Justin? I was going to suggest we give it to Joe if nobody said oh, it. But let's give it. Yeah. On it. Has Joe done police before? He was fire last time around. Yeah. So police would be a good. And I'll back him up with police. All right. School department, a small one. School. Anybody want to do schools with Barbara? Probably Sean Tyler. That's a good call. Uh, school building committee. I don't know if they're still going. I'm going to put Greg there. Um, just as a uh, Um, can I take water? I know it's a two down, but just yep. thought I'd say it. Anybody want to help Justin with the water department? Sure. I think we're fairly balanced. Town uh, I think I think we could use another one for Katie. Do we want to give Katie veterans? Yeah. Does anybody want to back her up there? I can back her up. Okay, thanks, Russ. I can do That's town clerk too. If, uh, right. Russ will take town clerk. Anybody? I'll uh, back up Russ uh, on town Barbara will. And then uh, Sue mentioned, and and looks like she lost her connection. But right before losing her connection, she. Had, uh, mentioned that we are we would like to have a liaison to the capital committee. I would like to do that. Didn't somebody say that a couple weeks ago? Yeah, I think so. So I'm gonna. Barbara has volunteered. Does anybody uh, disagree with Barbara there? I'm gonna try to extend this table down another row. Is that what uh, Sue was talking about? Yes. Uh, Chris, I think I saw you throw your hand up for a second oh, on that. Yeah. Make sure I get Sue's email correct here. All right, and that is our list of departments to liaise with. Does anyone have uh, anyone have any uh, concerns, requests? All right, thank you all. I will email that out to both uh, you guys and to the contacts and department heads as well, probably in the morning I'll do that. And that uh, takes us through the new business portion of our agenda, which takes us uh, going back to the agenda to um, the old business portion, which starts with liaison reports. Does anyone have any liaison reports? Nope, looks like we don't. Uh, there, we have not been able to check the mail, so we have no correspondence. Uh, we don't have meaning, meeting minutes to review. Um, I know Joe has been working on some of the meeting minutes, going back through the, the videos, but we don't have those before us right now to review. And with that, uh, I think our it, our next meeting is not yet scheduled. We have the uh, possibility to um, meet 
another regular meeting between now and the 17th of November, or we can just plan on meeting at six o'clock on November 17th. What do, what is people, what are people's preferences? Unless there's a reason to meet before the 17th. It doesn't seem like we'd need to do that. I tend to agree there. Does anyone think, can anyone think of a reason to schedule a meeting between now and then? See a lot of head shaking. Uh, so for the time, be time being, our next planned meeting will be at six o'clock before the special town meeting at seven o'clock on Tuesday, November 17th. Does anyone have any be held at the high school? That will be held. Uh, we'll probably, it will either be outside, which November 17th will probably be a little bit chilly outside or somewhere with appropriate social distancing inside. Is it going to go down to oh. Justin? Go ahead. Uh, it's going to go down to 50 again, or do we have to have 150 people? There? Uh, the selectmen are looking to change the quorum down to 50. Got it. Okay. Thanks. Russ, what were you going to say? Uh, nothing. Nope. Okay. I think it was Greg. He just asked if it was at right. the high school. It's at the high school. Okay. Yep, at the high school. I don't know if anybody get, can give the selectmen any uh, maybe advice, but maybe just change the wording to say while COVID's going on, just so we don't have to keep doing this and delaying. So things. according to, to, so the selectmen thought that it was like that that was implicit in the wording of the the law change that during the state of the emergency they were changing it and that that change would be would last during the state of the emergency, like would last throughout the state of the emergency. Uh, but the way the town council read it, it has to be before each individual meeting. So I don't think there's wording that they can make to have it cover multiple meetings, at least in the minds of town council. So. Are there any further points of discussion? Anything anyone else wants to bring up? Any motions? Motion to adjourn. Second. It's a motion to adjourn and a second. Uh, any discussion? Chris is already trying to vote. All those in favor of adjourning? Opposed? It is unanimous. We are adjourned. Thank you, everybody, and have a great night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon. Bye.